Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. And have you ever passed a random stranger's yard and said, that grass is so tall, I just want to cut it for free? You haven't. Well, I'll be honest, I wasn't anticipating that answer. I've got to rethink some things in my life. You know what, let's just get to the work. We have three of the Hart 5 amp hour batteries that are at 100% charge. We've got three of those. We have our string trimmer, our mower, and our blower that we are going to use on this front yard. And at least as far as ground rules for the mower, I'm going to turn off the self-propel function. With this mower, they're self-propelled 21 inch. You can either bag or mulch the grass. In my area, mulching is probably going to be more common. I do think that bagging it would give you a better cut, but since I'm kind of torture testing this, we're gonna mulch it and see how it does. We're gonna cut it at four inches. This is St. Augustine grass, so four is a pretty good healthy height. We're gonna see how everything performs. This is not a review. This is just a demonstration to show you how these uh, pieces of equipment perform on this very overgrown, very thick, St. Augustine grass. And, and like I said, I, I wasn't joking. I really have, I mean, I cut the lawns next to it. So that's how I knew that for the past several weeks, this has been, it's for sale. So nobody's been taking care of it, um, but nobody knows I'm doing this. So I don't, it's one of those things where I guess technically this is trespassing, but it's kind of a victimless crime and who's gonna get mad that you're, you know, mowing grass for them. So I'm not too worried about it. Famous last words, but we'll go ahead and get started. I did pretty good, but I should have brought the bag. <laughs> Okay, here's the deal. This is gonna take forever and a day because I was dumb and didn't bring the bag. So, I don't want you to think bad about the heart because any machine would have difficulty mulching this much growth. We're still gonna clean up with the blower so you can see that. We're gonna break the bobcat out because I don't wanna be here when somebody else comes by.
Well, the good news is, since we didn't mow anything, we're definitely going to have enough battery for the string trimmer and blower. All right, so what have we learned? Unfortunately, not that much because, because of my lack of foresight in bringing the bag for the heart mower. At least as far as the yard is concerned, does it look better? Yes. Is it something I charge for? I honestly don't like doing any service without edging. This is just more of an exercise in entertainment than an actual job. Again, considering the fact that nobody knows I'm here and I have no clue who these people are. Blew out the clippings as best I could, again, uh, I, I know there's going to be people who said, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. There's probably some people who will take issue with me going mowing somebody's grass. But at the end of the day, if, if you had a house for sale and the grass needed to be cut and somebody did this, I don't, I mean, maybe one out of a hundred or maybe even one out of ten would get mad, but I don't think any reasonable person would. Not too concerned with it. I blew the clippings out as best I could. Oh, the blower works pretty good. Those were very heavy clippings. You know, the St. Augustine's real dense and... Uh, so I handled that relatively well. The tube is a little stiff compared to the commercial stuff that I'm used to. I think it's just a different kind of plastic that's much stiffer. So that takes some getting used to. You've got to move your body a lot more than just your arm. But I'm glad I brought the Bobcat because that bailed me out. <laughs> If you've got any questions, or you, I know some people ask about the uh, the Bobcat mower I use. There's a link in the description you can get more info on. If you've got any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll respond as quickly as possible. If you'd like to see a few more videos, here's some that YouTube thinks you might like. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.